Did you know 54% of foods you eat are hiding a sweet secret? That's right, corn syrup. The sneaky little sweetener that's found its way into almost everything, from the jam on your toast to the buttery croissant you crave every morning. But have you ever wondered how something so simple becomes so irresistible? How did this sweet magic make its way into your favorite treats? Corn syrup is often used as a substitute for another popular sweetener. Can you guess what it is? Buckle up, because we're about to uncover the mind-blowing story behind corn syrup, a journey that starts in the golden cornfields and ends in the sweet syrup hiding in your favorite snacks. Trust us, you won't want to miss this. Step 1. Harvesting and Receiving the Corn Let's head to the cornfields, where the journey of fresh corn begins. Harvesting typically starts in late summer to early fall, timed perfectly to ensure the corn is at its ripest. Massive combine harvesters take over the fields, working efficiently to cut down stalks, strip the ears of corn, and separate them from the cobs, all in a single seamless process. Once harvested, the kernels are transported to drying facilities, where they are carefully dried to reduce their moisture content to about 14%, the ideal level for safe storage and transport. Timing here is extremely important. Too much moisture and the corn risks mold. Too little and the kernels crack during handling. Farmers closely monitor weather conditions during this stage, ensuring they harvest under dry skies to prevent excess moisture. After drying, the corn is stored in temperature-controlled silos, preserving freshness until it's loaded onto trucks, trains, or barges. From here, it's off to wet corn mills. Don't blink, because the journey's just beginning. Hit that like, share, and subscribe button to keep following the journey. Step 2. Cleaning the Corn Kernels Now we're at the wet corn mills, where all that freshly picked corn rolls in. But wait, before we get to the good stuff, we've got to make sure the kernels are spotless. These kernels have been through the fields, so they're bringing along dirt, sticks, and maybe even a little metal from the harvesting equipment. Not exactly what you want in your corn syrup. So how do we get rid of all these impurities? These vibrating screens shake the kernels so that larger debris like stones, twigs, and cob fragments fall through the mesh, while the clean kernels move on. Once the heavier contaminants are removed, the kernels move into air classifiers, where carefully controlled streams of air blow away lighter impurities, such as dust, husks, and chaff. To tackle hidden dangers, powerful industrial magnets sweep through, capturing any stray metal fragments such as screws or nails that could compromise the process. By the time we're done, we have perfectly clean, ready-to-go kernels. Step 3. Soaking the kernels in steep tanks Now it's time for the kernels to enjoy a long, luxurious soak in something called a steep tank. Think of it as the spa treatment of the corn world. These giant stainless steel tanks can hold a whopping 168,000 pounds of kernels, but this soak isn't just for relaxation. It's a carefully controlled process to turn tough, dry kernels into soft, ready-to-process gems. Here's how it works. Warm water mixed with a bit of sulfur dioxide circulates through the tank, creating a weak sulfurous acid solution. This step helps break down the bonds between the kernel's components, making it easier to separate them later. Think of it like softening the glue that holds everything together. This soak softens the kernels, which makes the next step of the process much easier. This process isn't rushed, so it takes about 20 to 40 hours, during which the kernels absorb water, swelling up by at least 50% of their original size and soften, much like soaking dry beans while you're cooking them. Once they've absorbed the water and softened up, they're ready to be broken down into all the sweet components that make corn syrup so tasty. Step 4 grinding and separating the germ. After the soaking process is where the real action begins. The softened kernels go to grinding mills, where they're carefully broken apart. And here's the key. We keep the germ, the tiny, nutrient-rich core of the corn kernel intact, because it contains valuable corn oil. Next, the pulp goes into a cyclone separator, a spinning machine that separates the lighter germ from the heavier starch and fiber. Once separated, the germ is washed and pressed, releasing that golden corn oil we all know and love. Used everywhere, 
from sizzling frying pans to industrial products. Did you know, from 100 pounds of corn, we get about 4 pounds of germ, which produces up to 1.5 pounds of oil. So, not only are we getting closer to making corn syrup, but nothing goes to waste. How cool is that? Step 5. Separating and purifying the starch. Now that the germ is removed, what's left is a slurry of starch, protein, and fiber. The fiber is washed out and dried to be repurposed as animal feed or corn brand fiber in cereals. The protein, also called gluten, is separated using centrifuges. The final product is pure starch, which will now play a key role in the syrup making process. Now the pure starch is filtered and washed up to 14 times, making it over 99.5% pure. At this point, some of the starch is packaged and sold as cornstarch, which you often use in cooking or baking delicious desserts. But the majority of the purified starch goes on to become corn syrup, and this is where things start getting really sweet. Step 6. Converting starch to corn syrup. Here it is, the big moment we've all been waiting for. The starch is finally transformed into syrup through a process called acid hydrolysis. In simpler terms, the wet starch is mixed with a weak acid and heated, breaking it down into simpler sugars. But how does this affect the syrup's sweetness? It all comes down to timing. The longer the process runs, the more starch gets converted into sugars, making the syrup sweeter. Once the desired level of sweetness is achieved, the mixture goes through filtration to remove impurities, clarification to refine it further, and evaporation to remove excess water. And just like that, you have pure liquid corn syrup ready to sweeten the world. Step 7. Creating High Fructose Corn Syrup Hold up, we're not done yet. If you're making soda, candy, or desserts that need that extra sweet punch, corn syrup gets a little extra treatment. Enzymes are added to break down the sugars further, converting some of the glucose into fructose. This makes the syrup much sweeter and more potent. The enzymes work best at a specific temperature range, usually around 140 to 170 degrees Fahrenheit, and in a carefully controlled pH environment, ranging from 4 to 6.5 to get the perfect balance of sweetness. Once it's done, you've got high fructose corn syrup, which is about 42% fructose and way sweeter than regular corn syrup. That's why your soft drinks taste even sweeter. Isn't it crazy how much goes into making the syrup sweeter and sweeter? Step 8. Final Distribution and Retail Once packaged, these sweeteners are sent to food manufacturers and retailers across the globe. Trucks, trains, and tankers are used to transport over 30 million tons of corn syrup annually to ensure it reaches shelves everywhere, from small local shops to large multinational chains. Corn syrup's real magic is its versatility. It sneaks into everything from fizzy drinks and baked goods to savory sauces. High fructose corn syrup, with its extra sweetness, is a favorite in sodas and candies. It's no wonder these products have become staples in so many recipes. Next time you're at the store, take a second to glance at the ingredient list of your favorite snacks or drinks. Chances are, this sweet addition has traveled quite a journey to end up in your hands. From the cornfields, through a high-tech process, and into products we use every day. Pretty wild when you think about it, right? And there you have it. The incredible journey of corn syrup. From the fields to your kitchen shelves. Remember that question at the beginning? What popular sweetener is often substituted for corn syrup? If you guessed honey is the popular sweetener corn syrup often substitutes, you nailed it! So, next time you enjoy a fizzy soda or a sweet treat, take a moment to appreciate the innovation behind it. Got ideas for our next food deep dive? Let us know in the comments! Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more fascinating food journeys! Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video!